Welcome to Unapologetically Unmedicated. This week, we are hearing from some mom experts in the field in our first ever Mom to Mom Mother's Day special. I'm your host, Fierce Lizzie, your favorite advocacy based birth educator and homeschooling business mom. But today, you're not going to be hearing from me. The Mom to Mom special is going to include moms just like you sharing the important topics that are near and dear to their mama hearts. Consider this our Mother's Day present to you and stay tuned every day this week for a brand new mini episode. You're listening to episode 57. Did you know that breastfeeding helps you fall in love with your baby on a hormonal level? Andrea is a lactation counselor with a focus on mother-baby-led intuitive parenting, and in this episode, she shares about how breastfeeding is actually better for your mental health than not breastfeeding. I feel like it's a common misconception that breastfeeding affects your mental health negatively, but I really want to talk about the ways in which it can actually positively affect your mental health. Birth and breastfeeding is kind of like a hormonal continuum. And in that process is the flowing of oxytocin. Um, So especially like right after birth, um, when your placenta leaves, and your progesterone drops and stuff, your prolactin is rising. And what actually brings on the milk production is like oxytocin. And you can achieve that by holding your baby skin to skin and having them feed frequently. Um, And oxytocin, you know, the same hormone that brings on contractions and the same hormone you get, like when you have an orgasm, the love hormone is actually what helps you fall in love with your baby. Um, and the, that is emitted during nursing. So like Lechi League had a quote that said like breastfeeding is what helps you fall in love with your baby. That's not to say like, if you don't breastfeed, you don't love your baby. That's not what I mean. But like physiologically that hormone is what like gives you, I guess, cause you know, motherhood is so hard. Having a newborn is so hard, but that's the hormone that makes you like fall in love with your baby, like, you know, bond to your baby so that you, you know, you don't leave it in a cave somewhere, like, you know, caveman times. Um, So like breastfeeding facilitates what would be a physiological response after birth. So sometimes when breastfeeding doesn't go as planned or someone chooses not to breastfeed, it's like your body and your hormones and your your brain is like thinking of it as if your baby died, which is obviously probably not good for your, you know, your brain to perceive that that way. Um, and obviously when we talk about all the different birth interventions and ways that that continuum can get like interrupted, I think that can be a root of mental health problems in the beginning and then add on to that, which also affects breastfeeding, um, you know, because interventions can also affect breastfeeding, add on to that, that affecting your breastfeeding journey and, you know, moms who stop breastfeeding because of pain um, or issues breastfeeding are like at an increased risk of postpartum depression. So I think instead of like blaming breastfeeding for that, we need to like be providing the appropriate supports for moms to be able to meet their breastfeeding goals um, so they can have improved mental health because of the hormones and oxytocin. You know, when moms have a successful and fulfilling breastfeeding journey, you know, studies are showing that they have less postpartum depression rates. So, you know, ways that you can support your mental health during that period would be making breastfeeding your only job. And because moms have so many balls in the air postpartum, and if you're still worrying about cooking, cleaning, taking care of the other kids, I mean, obviously you have to take care of your kids, but like not having help in those areas can, can make you like have breastfeeding be the first ball that you dropped basically. So making sure you have other supports. Um, Sleep is obviously a big piece of mental health. Obviously, you're not getting a ton 
um, immediately with a newborn, but when you prioritize sleep, like literally nothing else matters besides sleep and breastfeeding when you have a newborn. Okay. So whether that means like you go take a nap when your baby is sleeping and you get, you know, your partner or childcare, or you go to bed at 7 PM when the baby goes to bed, which is what I used to do. Um, you know, it's not forever. You're not going to bed at 7 PM forever. It's just like a very short time because a lot of times when the newborn will have a longer stretch of sleep at the very beginning of the night when they first go down. So you can utilize that. Um, and I always tell moms, like, as far as your mental health to be prepared, you know, to get like freezer meals done when you're pregnant, um, or like starting a meal train or, or having people when they want to come over and watch and see the baby, like, yeah, bring a meal you know, stuff so you can like focus on breastfeeding and not have it be just another thing added to your plate. Um, and then obviously if you're like really struggling with mental health and like have a diagnosed postpartum depression or anxiety, it's like quitting breastfeeding shouldn't be your only means of support. It shouldn't be your treatment. Um, and you can breastfeed on many antidepressants if that's what you choose and that is part of your treatment plan. So you don't need to stop for that. When you get proper treatment like medication and therapy, um, you can oftentimes like keep breastfeeding. Um, and then once you get over the hump of, you know, whatever mental health issue you're dealing with and you're successfully breastfeeding, um, you're gonna be a lot happier that you didn't give up on yourself. So speaking of mental health and being prepared, I have a whole breastfeeding course um, that gets pregnant moms, you know, prepared for breastfeeding. And I think one piece that's missing from a lot of different other breastfeeding courses is the mental health piece um, and postpartum support piece. So like we literally have an entire module just on that inside my breastfeeding course, all about mental health and postpartum support and like getting help um and being prepared in that aspect so you can go ahead and check out my instagram at instinctual mothering to find out info about the course what an amazing episode i am so thankful to all of the moms that have contributed to our special series for mother's day and i hope that you are enjoying it too do me a favor and if you enjoyed this episode please share it out and tag me tag the guest so that more moms can join in on these wonderful episodes. Don't forget to check out the show notes for more and to connect with today's guests and grab any downloadable freebies. It's linked in the description or you can go to fiercelizzy.com slash podcast slash mom to mom. And that's the number two mom to mom. And as always stay fierce mama.